Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to be doing another very simple science lab. This one is called Ocean Surface Currents, and it's on page 147. For this lab, you will need a large pan, like this one, some random sized rocks from your backyard or anywhere you can get rocks, some Play-Doh or clay, a little aluminum foil boat, a straw, enough water to fill up your pan halfway, safety glasses, and some pepper or spices. So before we do anything, let's put our safety glasses on. Now that we're safe, we're going to have a pan here, and we're going to dump a bunch of water into it until it is halfway full of water. So we're just going to dump water in there. There we go. That looks about halfway full. All right. So now that it's full of water, we're going to sprinkle some pepper onto the surface of the water. You can use pepper, some spices, whatever you have. So I'm just going to dump pepper onto the water. Uh, where's the pepper? There we go. All right. I just dumped pepper into it. And can you see the peppers? Um, let me dump a little bit more. All right, so now there is pepper into the water, and it's floating, as you can see. All right, so now we're going to be doing task one, and I'm going to get a straw, and I'm going to blow across the surface of the water and observe carefully what happens to the pepper and the water. So here we go. Let's try this out here. Alright, there we go. So now, you're going to go to page 149 and draw a diagram of what you just observed, where it says task 1 diagram. Here is an example of a diagram that I drew. You can pause the video here if you need more time to draw it. Alright, so now we're going to go over to task 2. So, for task 2, we're going to add rocks regular rocks from your backyard into the water. Just place them randomly. There we go. And you can also use clay or Play-Doh. As you can see here, I have rock-solid Play-Doh. I'm just going to place this into here. Right there, maybe. Ooh, wow, that is slimy. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to blow across and you're going to watch the pepper and see what is going on. So, got the straw. I'm going to blow across. So you can see that the pepper is doing almost the same thing when I blow out. It is shooting out, but then when it hits the rocks, the Play-Doh, right here, and these represent land masses, it goes around, and maybe it will swirl back in sometimes, and sometimes it will go straight. Let's watch again. All right, now let's go to the other side. So over here, the pepper is going this side of the Play-Doh and going back this way and then coming back towards me. And you can see it's actually still moving around over here. Let's do that again. Going on both sides of the Play-Doh over here. Let's try to blow this way. The rocks over here. You can see the pepper going away this way as well. So now, also on page 149 for task 2 diagram, you're going to draw again what you just observed. 
Here is an example. You can pause the video if you need more time. All right, so now we're going to go to task three, and we're going to place a boat made of foil. Here we go. Here's my little boat made of foil, as you can see over here. All right, so now we're just going to place it on top of the water. There you go. It is floating, which is what we want. And now we're going to do the exact same thing, blow from the corner. Put the straw here. You can see how the boat is doing pretty much the same thing as the pepper in the same direction. Alright, now let's go to the other side. The boat is stuck over here. There you go. The boat is getting kind of stuck over here. Alright, and now we're just task three diagram on page 149. Once again, you're going to draw what you observed just now. Here's an example. You can pause the video if you need more time on that. So now, you're going to compare all three of your diagrams and make a general statement about the results. Here is my general statement. In all three diagrams, the pepper travels in a similar path. However, in diagrams 2 and 3, the pepper still travels in a similar path, but also goes around the objects in the way. You can pause the video here if you need more time to write your general statement. So this concludes this very simple science lab. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.